so back here at my cabin little brief update on some things that I've done here lately I uh, have updated some solar electric um, I started out with the two panels you see there <clears throat> on the side of the house there are two 230 watt panels and over time I added these panels and uh, because of the way my house is, is set up and the heavy tree canopy it's like I gotta space out my panels to try and maximize some light and uh, I added three panels there the other day that's essentially what the update is I didn't want to drill holes through my roof I know everybody's like why don't you put all your panels on your roof and be honest with you you know I just don't want to put a whole bunch of holes through the roof you make holes you make problems so I welded a frame together and uh, I don't know if you'll be able to see it on the video there but I welded a frame and I actually mounted it to the side of the house and uh, it's real stout it was very hard to get up there by myself um, but I, I mounted those panels on a frame put the frame up and then mounted the frame to the side so and I also added four more batteries to my battery bank which is inside there and you're gonna have to forgive me but I don't feel like lifting that to show batteries we all know what batteries look like and uh, inside inside I took and hold on a second move my curtain all the way I added a secondary charge controller that's a um Renology Rover you know the Rover there and that's the adventure so I had really good luck with the Rover it's been really good and um I wanted to add a secondary charge controller because I've maxed out the 40 amps that I could put on the Rover so when I added the new panels I added the uh, additional charge controller so and I had really good luck with it I'm very happy so I essentially ran all my other panels are ran in 24 volt the three that I added additional on the roof they're ran in uh, 12 volt because the um the rover is a MPPT charge controller and it can handle the 24 volt but the adventurer cannot so I went with the 12 volt configuration for that but anyway just a little short clip about the solar if you got any questions about it or anything let me know peace out